What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're answering the question of how can you get all the unique words from a text file in Python? So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What is up everybody, like I mentioned, today we are answering the question of how we can find all the unique words that are found within a text file using Python. And if you haven't seen one of my, my last video, essentially I talked about how you can find all the words and count all the words um, from a text file in Python. And we are actually gonna start off from that exact code base from where we left off. Because um, essentially, to count all the unique words in a text file using Python, you need essentially need to do three things. You need to um, you need to get, you know need to read in the file. You need to take all that contents and split it out into the uniqueness of the words and, or into the words, and then you need to um, essentially do the counting of those of all those words. Now, I guess sorry, and I guess to back up for the uniqueness, it's actually four steps because the fourth one would then be convert it from all the words to basically to convert it all to all the unique set of, of words and then count it right. Um, um, so really four steps. And so starting off from where we originally did, I'm basically going to say, so, hey, to count, let's do, let's do counting of the unique count, unique words in file. And really all it needs to happen, um, like if I run this really quick beforehand, just to show you where we left off, um, if we run this, basically you get a set of words that came from this text file that we loaded in. Um, and you can see that how there's essentially, you know, capitals, lowercase, stuff with punctuation. There's like multiple versions of the word fun, and I think you. There's an uppercase of case, a lowercase of case. And we essentially just want to say, well, what, what are the unique words? And now to do that is you can leverage a data type called a set. Because essentially what we've done is we read in it from a string. Now it's at this point, it's a string value. Then we took that and split it based upon um, spaces because um, that's what this does just by default. Otherwise, if we needed to pass in a delimiter, we could pass in like a comma or whatever delimiter, multiple spaces, one space, or you could even do one space like that. But essentially, this took it from a string and converted it into this list of all the words. Now we have all the words. Now to get the uniqueness, we're gonna leverage a set because what a set is, um, let me pull this up here, set of words. Basically what a set does is it builds an unordered collection of unique elements. So for instance, if it sees fun exclamation point, the next time it sees that it will not put it in, it'll just keep it as it is. And so and now if I print this and we'll just say this is unique words and do that. If I run this now, what you essentially get is, pull this up, is you get all of our words there and now our unique words, you can see like things like um, the programming is exclamation point. There's not two of those anymore in this list, but there still is the capitalization of case and lowercase case like if if you feel that hey i'm good with everything being capitalized um or or i consider like subscribe capitalized versus subscribe lowercase or case up capitalized versus you know or all caps versus case lowercase is is considered unique then you're done right here all you, you can just print it out and say and just do this print len of words and with doing this set it'll give you 24 and there you go that's unique but what happens if you consider case with a capitalized or all caps is different than that of lowercase case. Well, to handle that issue, essentially what we can do is come up and do some, I guess more, it's more called more of like, a, and I'll move this here and we'll, we'll call this section called like a, a, a data cleanup where essentially we just need to clean up our data a little bit because I can say text is equal to text dot lower. Now, if I do this, this should get rid of, essentially we're gonna, going to convert this string all to lowercase and then run our split. So that way, when we do our, say, uniqueness down here, we're essentially going to get just the lowercase values of everything, which means like this one, this uppercase case, and this one will go away and merge to one value just instead of two. So if we run that, now you can see that we get 22 um, unique words in this file versus the original 27 that we had. Now, as you can see here in this example, there's two examples where it's programming with a punctuation and programming with not the punctuation. So how do we actually handle that case? And that's what we're going to talk talk about now okay so to handle you know the different punctuation uh, punctuations that you can have like that are attached to words like i mean you can get a word like that i showed that had like file if i rerun this um you can get like this case where it's like hey there's programming that was used in a um essentially part of like the middle of a sentence versus programming that was used at the end of a sentence and you want to clean that up right because you really feel like that's just the same word essentially what you can do and actually i'm gonna use a python module and i'm gonna import string 
string. Um, and because this allows us to essentially, we can loop through, string has a, um, a value called dot punctuation, where it will give you a string of all the punctuation that you can essentially loop through that string and then remove that each of those uh, punctuation marks from your, from your data. So after we've gone and kind of lowercase everything, I can say for val in string dot punctuation. And then I can just do uh, text is equal to text dot replace, oops, replace val. So basically replace this current punctuation mark um, with nothing, which basically means remove it, right, from our text. And then assign it back to text. And so if I run this, what we'll end up with, if I pull this up here, you'll see that programming is no more. It's just, it's just programming. There's no exclamation point. But you can also see like we had a word that was called isn't. And now the single quote is now missing in between the N and the T. So what happens if we want that type of stuff, but we don't want it at the end? Well, you can do something like, well, I know when someone is using a quote, it's usually gonna be um, combining words or whatever. So I can just say for um, if val not in, and I'm doing it this way because if I do quote single quote, I could do something like a punctuation mark, right? Which basically says if it's, if the if the value is a quote, is not a quotation mark, a single quote or a punctuation mark, then do this replace stuff. If it is those, uh, then don't do anything to the text, right? So if I run this, in this sense, I'm, I should get back up to 22 words because I put programming back in with this with the exclamation point and isn't isn't or isn't still has its now has its single quote back. So I can actually remove this and then go like that. That should bring us back to 21. We have programming just by itself. Isn't is like that. And there you go. You have now all the unique words from a file in list format. And not only do we have it in a list format, again, once you have this, something like this in the list format, you can literally just call that length function and on the variable, which will give us that 21 value. So we have found all the unique words and then we've gotten the length from all those unique words from this specific file. So if this provided any value, please smash the like button below. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And again, I hope you know this gives you some ideas for things that you can continue to do um, with, your pro, uh, with your programs. And in the next video, we'll probably talk about how you can get the frequency of a set of words uh, using Python and using this same file setup. So until next time, keep on programming.